Hello and welcome. In this video, I will review the simple waterfall custom Power BI visual available in Microsoft App Source at appsource.microsoft.com. As you can see, there are six waterfall custom visuals available in the App Source, and uh, I intend to review every single one of them and compare them to the default waterfall visual that comes in Power BI. You can install that vi visual by downloading it from App Source or by uh, opening up your desktop, clicking on Get More Visuals, and then searching for the waterfall charts here. And you see that these are the waterfall charts that come in our search. You can click on Add and add that waterfall chart to the uh, default visuals that you have in Power BI Desktop. So the first question is, why do you even need to do that? Well, the reason you need to do that is because the default Power BI waterfall visual is fundamentally broken. Um, I have a, a video dedicated to solving and making um, the default Power BI waterfall visual work. So uh, just to frame up the issue, by default, um, waterfall chart visual does not really do a waterfall. It just takes our total and breaks it down by the set of component, and it does not show us the starting and ending value. Uh, I have figured out how to make it um, uh, work the way we're, we're expecting it to work, but that requires a little bit of DEX wizardry, and that's not necessarily an ideal solution. I'm not going to be covering how I made the default Power BI waterfall chart work. Uh, I will link the video in the description of this video if you would like to know how that's done. But um, uh, right now we're just, um, we'll start out with a simple measure. That simple measure um, will create a switch statement that will look into the different components of the breakdown. So I want to have a last year revenue and create a waterfall chart uh, and bridge last year and this year revenue across these breakdown categories. So I created a smart measure that um, returns volume, makes gross revenue or discounts components of the waterfall chart so that uh, we could take a look at the uh, waterfall chart and see all of the, the beginning value, ending value, and everything in between. So um, when I moved the same measure into the uh, simple Power BI, simple waterfall, that measure did not work very well. So I, did, I had to make a couple of changes in order to make it work. So what did I have to do? So I had to add... Um, a uh, couple of more things to the to the uh, to the calculation and to the table that has the drop um, the records for the breakdown. So I had to implement the last year, this year, uh, and measures for all of those, and then everything in between. And uh, once I've made that change, then the waterfall chart actually worked pretty well. So uh, let's see what you need to do to make this chart work. So if I click on the uh, options. Uh, the first thing we will we'll see is chart options, vertical or horizontal. So um, I don't believe the default Power BI chart has that. So that's definitely an advantage. That's a cool feature. So um, um, some cookie brownie points for the simple waterfall. Define, define pillars is the most important feature uh, that's relevant to what we're trying to do is because this is how we can have the starting and ending value. So this is a pretty cool and clever trick that's part of this chart. So if you have this, all of the pillars defined, then um, the waterfall chart will just uh, show the list of all of the categories and the value for each category. So that does not look very much like a waterfall chart. But uh, what we're able to do is we can define which measure uh, will be the beginning and which measure will be the end. So if I say revenue last year, that's going to be our starting value and then revenue this year will be the ending and now we have a perfect waterfall chart that's wonderful the next feature here is margins so we could define padding from the top and the bottom of a chart that's pretty cool um, bar color uh, nothing too crazy here so this this is um, a component that allows us to specify total favorable and unfavorable we have the same thing in the default chart legend uh, here you can customize the um, legend uh, for favorable and unfavorable sentiment and change the fonts. So I bet uh, I think this is a little bit more customizable 
that's an in default chart. Um, pretty standard set of values for x axis and y axis. And then um, labels, this is where you can get to specify the formatting options for the data points. I believe we have uh, a few more options here than we have in a default one. Overall, once I figured out the, um, the uh, pillars portion of this chart, uh, making that uh, waterfall chart work as the normal waterfall became a pretty simple exercise. Uh, all I had to do was to use the existing measure and just add two more um, variables or uh, two more um, categories to the, to, the, to the variable. And uh, by specifying pillar from and pillar to, I was able to build this beautiful waterfall chart. So now let's take a look at the positives and negatives. On the positive side, this chart pretty much beats the default Power BI waterfall chart in every category. It's more customizable. It's, uh, it has more formatting options. It, um, it's not very intuitive when it comes to having to set up the blue beginning and ending bars, but it's still much easier to do than having to do that in the default chart. If there is any negatives about this chart, um, it's that it's a custom visual. And now that we've had um, some vendors exit AppSource, I'm talking about CloudScope that uh, recently removed all of its custom visuals from the marketplace. By us using custom visuals, we're now running risk of uh, those visuals, uh, A, not being supported, no longer available, which could potentially create um, obvious problems uh, over the life cycle of our report. To summarize, Simple Waterfall Chart gets an enthusiastic thumbs up. I will be reviewing the other waterfall custom visuals in um, additional videos. Hope you found this video interesting and informative, and please come back again for more. Thank you. Bye.